Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Physio. In this module, I want to have a look at some of the charting shapes that you get. So I've opened a diagram, I went File, New, and I have selected the marketing shapes. This one. Created that, and then you get the stencils appearing on the left hand side. So you've got quick shapes at the top and charting shapes and marketing shapes below. So I just want to focus on what appears in the quick shapes area and look at a couple of these graph types and what, how you use them and what you've got to bear in mind when you do use these. So first of all, straightforward graph, I'll bring that on. So it gives you an option there straight away of selecting how many bars you want. So I'll go for five, click OK, you get five. And then if you want to type anything in there, you just type in the relevant number. It just lets you type on, on the particular bar like so. And you can see it um, changing shapes there. Now, in terms of changing the colors and stuff like that, You've got the options here to change the whole thing, like I'm doing there now. Or if you click on one of these, you can then just change that one to a particular colour, whichever suits your need. So I'll click on that one, I'll make that one blue. And you can see how you can do that. So that's fairly straightforward, easy enough to do. This one, however, with the percentage symbol on it, is slightly weird the way it works. Same sort of thing happens. You get the options for, let's just go for four, okay. Now what you have to do when you type in this box, or this bar, so if I put 25, the bar goes huge, and you think you've made a mistake, but what you have to do is use the percent symbol, and then it'll drop it down to a percent, because that's what this is. So you click on it, click on the bar, you want to type 25, it goes big on you, you do the percent symbol, and it comes back down to a normal size, and that's how you type any of these that's got percentages on. And if you right click on any of these, you can change the number of bars and you can go into shape data. If there is any shape data, it will be displayed over there. There isn't anything other than the number of bars. If I right click again, you've got comments and you can hyperlink these, show a different video to do that. And you can group them with other things. But these are, these are all fairly standard little shapes that you can bring. They are not dynamic in, the, in that um, they don't work like Excel where it's looking at a set of data and the data changes, this changes. You physically have to change these figures. You can create macros to automatically change these, but normally when people just bring these on, they are manually typing these figures in. Now, this pie slice, let's bring that one in. This comes in at 25%, but if you wanted that to be more, you can go add 1%, add 1%, and so on and so on. Uh, you can move the this vanishing point and do it in a sim similar way like that. But if you want to just increment, you can just right click and add one. So that's the individual pie slice. The pie chart itself, when you come in, again, you get the option to change the number of slices. And then OK. And then if you right click on that, you've got um, set slice sizes. Try and say that fast. So at the moment, they're all on 20, 20. So if I put a couple on 10 and then one on 40, that should still add up to 100, unless my math is wrong. So then the pie would react to that. Now, these um, marketing diagrams that you can see, um, obviously, this is quick shapes. I'm on there. So that you've got a lot more shapes in here, uh, different things to what I've just shown you. Um, likewise, with marketing diagrams, you've got the main things at the top there. So all quick shapes does, it just brings in the most common things into one place. So we've got a SWOT diagram there, so you can bring that onto your screen, SWOT analysis, and then you can type in there whatever you want to type. So if I type it in, just double click, you can see that the cursor is in the middle, so I want it to be at the top and I want it to be left, so I've just gone up there like that. Now. If I go into paragraph, I can, if I want, put um, bullets on there. So if I want a bullet list, uh, click OK. I've then got a little bullet so I can type in whatever I want. A, B, C, 
press enter a few more letters like so and this is your little strengths you've got more strengths and weaknesses and then the same thing you would have to do on each box so that's fairly straightforward just move the whole thing resize it if you wish now um, the other ones you've got different this diagram here again how many arrows do you want I want five okay so you get five arrows and then you can play around with this however you want so let's make it a little bit bigger let's get rid of this what an Alice box get rid of that give, give myself some space so when you type in there just double clicked that's the title in the middle you want to type in one of these you have to isolate it like so and then you can just type whatever whatever this arrow is representing you just type it in there like so so you create the arrows and then you type it in triangle so again you can create your little Maslow's theory of life or whatever it is and then you can just fill this in and these these all can be typed in like same as all the diagrams you just click onto the segment and type and then you can also click onto the segment and change the color so they're all blue at the moment so let's make something red and then yellow and so on and so on or well, mustard's better color so that's the diagram there and then if we just have a quick look at the other shapes that's available you've got lots and lots of different shapes there you can build up a graph you can build up the axes and things like that and in terms of marketing diagrams there is all these standard things boston matrix and soft matrix all these sort of things position map and you just basically select the one you want and then drag drag that one onto the screen so you've got a scope diagram there where you you can fill that in and it's just type away whatever you want to do and if you right click on some of these you may have different options um, shape data I've got shape data already on there so you can see when you click on these shapes there is very little shape data available but don't forget okay the pie chart gives you some information but don't forget you can right click on any shape in Visio and uh, define new shape data so this is the if I just do a um, new one I'll just call it test so you can see how it works so leave it as text and leave all this blank and then click OK and then test comes up there and then you can type whatever you want in there and then that's stored behind that shape and then you can run reports um, into Excel for example of whatever you want to be in the back of this shape now sometimes that doesn't really apply for these types of shapes and diagrams but it does apply and it's quite useful for organizational charts flow charts and progress charts and things like that but this is just a quick look at some of the marketing and charting shapes so hopefully that was of use to you and i'll thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one